Okay, so you get a lot of questions about how you can finish 3D printed pieces so that they actually look good. And the problem is a lot of times this 3D printed stuff, it's got like layer lines and other imperfections that, uh, you know, unfortunately you put it in your truck, it'll function just fine, but it doesn't actually look that great. So what I like to do, I have a pretty decent process just so that you can end up with a cool kind of like textured look, which goes pretty well inside. These are uh, tweeter pods that go in uh, Cherokee or Comanche. A couple different steps to the process, but basically what you want to do is start with um, glazing putty. So this is kind of like Bondo, but it's much thinner. And what you want to do there is first kind of fill up all of these cracks as much as you can, smooth it out, limit the amount of uh, extra material that you put on there because you have to sand it off. But basically, yeah, use the glazing putty, and then you probably want to use like a 120 to 220 sandpaper to smooth out where you put the glazing putty. So basically anywhere that's got this texture, you want to do the glazing putty on it. Uh, and then once that's dried, you sanded it smooth, then what you're going to want to do is use some uh, primer. So this is a filler primer. Uh, it's pretty thick. You could also use flexible primer. Um, either of those would work. Even probably any standard primer would be fine. So after you've done the primer, uh, I'll show a picture here, but it'll look like that. And then basically let that dry. And then you probably want to use like a 400 grit sandpaper. You could wet sand and you basically just want to get it as smooth as possible. Uh, you may need to do another coat of primer if there's still imperfections or issues. And then once that's done, if you want a texture, uh, I actually really like this uh, SEM product for texture coating. So depending on how close you spray it to the item, uh, it'll give you kind of a, a cool texture look to it, uh, which I, I really appreciate. Uh, and then last, after the texture is dried, you probably want to use your top coat. Keep in mind the texture is pretty flat, so you definitely need to use a top coat. Uh, this is where you go with different colors, gray, black, whatever. Uh, I use the plastic paint. There's also another one by uh, Duplicolor that's pretty good, but this Rust-Oleum works fine. So that's kind of the process I go through, and basically you could take something that has all these layer lines and uh, you know definitely looks like something that was 3D printed and make it into a part that looks like it was uh, made specifically, possibly even like injection molded to fit into the vehicle a little bit better. So that's my process. You